So today we have with us Nigang Agarwal. He is a qualified actuary and he has more than three years of work experience in banking and risk management domain. So let's uh, listen from him what he has to say about his actuarial journey. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. And it's really nice to be back here. I think after about six years when I first started my actuarial papers. So to talk about my background, I did economic honors from the Bhawanipur Education Society College. I was first introduced to the idea of being an actuary by one of my distant uncles. I think that's when I realized how important it is to talk to people, not just your immediate circle, but across across the market and across your network. I think something I really learned from this actual journey is never give up and never assume that it's already done until it's actually done. I think the first paper that I was sitting for CT1, I was so scared and I was like, I am never going to clear it. And I think even two weeks before the exam, I was like, let's give up. Uh, I can't give this paper. But I'm so happy I did. I think I scored 95 in that paper, which I never assumed I would have scored. And honestly, I was scared that I did not score the next five marks. I wanted 100. But I think my actual journey was not the smoothest, I would say, but definitely the most exciting part of my life. There were crises, but I think I never gave up, be it my health or there were some family emergencies. But something that kept me going is just sticking to your dream and doing it rather than just giving up on things. But I think it's not just work and study that just makes an actually. It's about enjoying the time you are studying it. I think there was one time when I did not sit for a paper. I had studied. I had registered for it. But somehow it clashed with the college event. I was like, college event to wapas nahi hoga. Exam to bar bar de denge. And I, I flunked it. But yeah, I'm happy I did because I think what's important is enjoying the entire journey. And while I was doing, I did take some... Uh, unorthodox approaches as well so i think instead of going in the life or the non-life or the pensions domain i tried something new going in the risk management and banking this is something that really excited me uh, i'm happy to share that i qualified recently back in december as one of the banking actuaries with risk management background